What's happening, Pixar fans? Dan Taylor from DanThePixarFan.com here once again for another mystery unboxing, or I guess in this case an unbagging, because today we have the brand new Finding Dory Mystery Blind Packs from Bandai Series 2. Now, Series 1 came out back in early May, and they were super popular, and now we have Series 2. A lot of people, including myself, we're hoping for um, this series to continue, and I hope that we even get a series three because there are so many great characters in the film that I would love to see in this series. These are great stylized little figures, and I love the designs. It's such a fun little series here. So like series one, these ones aren't really blind bags because you can see who you're getting. There's a little window in the back so you can see who you're getting, so that makes it a little bit easier to collect them all when, or a lot easier to collect them all when, uh, when you're trying to snag them all at the store there. And so I did cheat. I do know I have them all today, but a little combination of knowing and mystery because we won't look as we open each one. So let's see who the first one is here. And the first character we have is Nemo. So Nemo here, a lot of people hoped for Nemo because he was not included for, uh, he was not included in series one. Marlin was, but a lot of people wanted Nemo as well. So now we have him, that's awesome. All right, let's see who our second character is here. Who do we have, who do we have? And this is Rudder. So Rudder is one of the hilarious sea lions from the film. He is the one that says, mind you don't scuff your bum. And he also has his A1 tag. If you don't know, the uh, sea lions have tags on them, A1 and 1-3, which is Pixar's classic A113 Easter egg. So here we have the other one, Fluke here. So Fluke is the hilarious uh, companion there to Rudder who sit on the rock and who uh, tell Gerald to get off, 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 off. And there you can see his 1-3 tag on his, uh, on his back flipper or fin, I guess flipper. Let's see who we have next. The next character we have, this is Dory. So this is Dory version two. Dory was included in series one. This Dory has her uh, transfer tag, the 3181 transfer tag um, on her fin there. So I guess she's going to Cleveland. Let's check it out. Who do we got? All right, so this is one of the hermit crabs. Again, a uh, hermit crab was already released in series one, but that hermit crab had a football helmet on. This hermit crab has some kind of mug or cup. The hermit crabs in the film, of course, go shh. They were the shushing hermit crabs that uh, that try to warn Nemo and Marlin about the giant squid. Okay, the next character is Sheldon. Sheldon is has a very, very brief appearance in Finding Dory. He has a bigger role in Finding Nemo, but he does appear in Finding Dory briefly in Mr. Ray's class, and so this is a really nice looking figure there. And let's check out the next character. Who do we have, who do we have, who do we have? And, oh, this one is one of my favorites. This is a black Hank. So this is a camouflaged Hank. I don't remember exactly when he camouflaged black in the film. Maybe it's when he um, when he inked in the touch pool. But either way, this one is so cool. And he's kind of translucent as well. So that is a really cool little uh, thing that they did. So Mr. Ray here, of course. I'm glad that he made an appearance in this series because this figure looks awesome. Look at that, he is really cute. And this is such a great new, uh, these are great new characters to this series. I'm so glad that they continued this on. We have eight new fantastic characters and I am so hoping for a series three. Who would you like to see in series three? Shout it out in the comments below who you'd like to see or who your favorite character in Finding Dory is. And as usual, if you're looking for more details or more photos, visit danthepixarfan.com for my full write-up and review. Take care, guys. See you later.